Today, we're here with Hugh from Home Network Solutions Berkshire to discuss one of the newest arrivals, the AP21. So Hugh, would you mind telling us about the installations you typically handle? Is it residential, commercial, a bit of both? Yeah, probably pretty much a 50-50 split now. Started in residential and then it's become more and more business. I don't mind doing either one. Very flexible, so um, yeah, and we've got some great products that we can install for people. So. And when it comes to choosing network setups for your clients, what features do you typically prioritise? I think the most important uh, feature is going to be reliability. It's got mm -hmm. It's got to work and it's got to consistently work. Also, we want to look at things like coverage, making sure it's compatible with um, you know, all the devices that the client are using. Obviously, cost comes into it as well, um, but the main thing is going to be all about reliability and ease of use, both from our perspective and also from the client's perspective. Would you say it's sort of a case-to-case -case basis and really make yeah. it personalised to the client? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. It's, you've got to do like a tailored solution for, for each client. And sometimes, you know, a product that you might want to put in is maybe not suitable for one or two reasons. So you've got to be prepared to kind of uh, you know take another look at it and come back with a different plan and it obviously it's a constant cycle because products are coming out all the time so yeah. it's very important to keep up to date with them. and have you worked with the instant on the products before if so what's been your experience with that yeah absolutely yeah we've done uh, quite a bit of um of the instant stuff um it's really really simple it's probably one of the simplest service set up they have their own range servers which essentially means that the controller software for the instant on range is always running in the background and then it's all just app based and they use bluetooth to connect to the access points so there's there's not really a lot to think about from an installation perspective other than trying to make sure you get the placement the access points right and the right equipment but actually the uh, configuration is very very easy so now let's jump in and discuss one of the latest additions to the family the ap21 okay so uh, we're going to be looking at the hpe networking instant on ap21 from now on, I'm just going to call that the Instant On AP21 for ease. It's a new model, and you'll notice that the branding is slightly different. It just says Instant On on the front. The previous one, this is an AP22. That's got a Ruber on it. That is now missing. These are very similar access points. They're both two times two. They're pretty similar in price. The AP22 is about 10% more than the AP21. They have similar PE redraw, two times two. This one is a little bit more capable. The AP22 will take up to 75 clients. This will take up to 50. So if you're looking for a smaller deployment or you're gonna be putting more of these in, then this is a really good option. Okay, so now we come to the setup. I've got the instant on switch here. This is a 1930, it's eight port PE switch. It's got 124 watts of power. So plenty of power for this access point. And essentially the first thing we need to do is we need to grab our cable from the router or from your network and we're going to plug that into any one of these ports on the switch here so i'll just put it in port one and then we've got a patch lead which comes with the instant on access point and we're going to just plug that into the PRE port on the back here and then the other end of that can go to any one of these eight ports they're all PRE, so just go straight into there and you should see some lights start to light up on that and on the access point here, we've got a light here at the bottom. And we just need to wait for that to start flashing orange and green and that means it's ready for setup in the app. Setting up the instant on AP21 in the app couldn't be simpler. First, set up a new site by pressing continue and the instant on app will scan for nearby instant on devices. Select the type of devices on your network and press continue and choose the way in which your devices will be connected to the internet, either through a private network behind an existing gateway or connected directly to a modem. Make sure your AP21 is plugged in and wait for the lights to flash green and amber. That means your AP21 is ready to be discovered. Then add the serial number of your device. This should be on the base of the unit itself. Alternatively, you can scan the handy barcode. Once your AP21 has been detected by the app, give your network a name and a password so your users can connect. Then choose your country and give your site an easily recognizable name. And that's all there is to it. Your AP21 site has been set up and can be monitored instantly through your HP Networking Instant On app. From here, you can configure your network, monitor connected clients and devices, and make sure everything is running smoothly. Okay, so that's it. This is the Instant On AP21. I'd strongly recommend this product for your homes or small business. It's ideal. And as I said, it's very easy to set up. Thanks very much.